have made it on site. What are we getting today? This would be my brand new felling trailer. It's quite long. It's really big and it's really black. And that's it's so shiny. <laughs> I notice it has black wheels. It does have black wheels. Controversial so. choice. Right. I don't have any taste. <laughs> Pretty fancy. Is it everything that you'd hoped it would be? It is. I guess I'll know more whenever I get both machines on there, but it's going to be one long uh, setup, that's for sure. Very shiny. Very shiny. I'm not sure. I'd want to try and haul this thing around through two. <laughs> yeah, it's a little long. So. I think it'll work. That one's only like six or seven feet longer than my other one, so. Maybe we should go pay the guy for it? I guess. What do you think we can back up to it and take off? <laughs> Time before they know. So, yeah, we get back to the shop. We'll do a little bit more of a walk around, but. Here's the new trailer, everybody. Here is my new trailer. It is a 2021 Felling FT45. So it's a 25 ton trailer. Even though it's only got two axles underneath it, it's got two 25,000 pound axles. Uh, it's an air brake trailer. The deck on it is 26 feet long. And then the beaver tail, I believe it's six feet. And it's actually what they call a double incline. So you can kind of see how it, it angles and then it breaks again. So that ought to make it, it's not quite as uh, steep as the other trailer I've got. I think the other trailer was just a five foot dovetail and it's just that one angle. So <clears throat> I'm anxious to use that and try that out. That's what, I've had several people tell me that's uh, pretty nice. The machines don't break over quite as hard. I believe uh, it's a Hutchins suspension. I think it's uh, 17 and a half inch wheels. Like I said, it's an air brake trailer. Uh, I actually ordered this. They built it for me uh, at the beginning of September because they had one that was a 24 foot deck that I was worried was going to be just a little bit too short because my two machines are just a little under 25 feet long touching so my plan is to put the loader up front and then the excavator in the back and then the boom out that way so i wanted to make sure i had plenty of room but yeah that makes for <coughs> one uh long trailer because i think the tongues the tongue's a little over six feet and you got 26 and you got six so it's almost a 39 foot trailer this is actually my first air brake trailer or brand new trailer that i've ever got so and this is how it's all kind of i do like how lonnie these aren't solid on the truck it makes it a little tricky it was a little these were a little tough to hook up first with those old seals but you don't have to worry about those hitting or breaking or anything like that <clears throat> it's got a nice size toolbox got a few binders and chain I had to go pick up 
uh, another little surprise the other day but I mean, it's got dual jacks i like how it's got the step on there uh let's see i had i had them add i think that d-ring and that d-ring so it's got nine down each side now instead of seven uh black wheels of course so gotta match the truck what else i guess that's pretty much it. it's got all led lights and stuff on it i didn't go i just went with the double spring ramps they had the option of like uh i think air assisted ramps or something but i don't know i guess i still feel like i'm young enough i can do those for now i could have got a drop axle underneath it but that was going to be like another eight or nine thousand dollars so for the two machines i haul i don't really need that extra axle uh this trailer will actually haul i think a 160 will be everything that it'll haul so not like i'll ever probably need to haul a 160 around but uh definitely when i go rent the 2150 takahuchi it's a 35,000 pound machine it'll easily fit on here uh, i just got the well like the angle iron and clean out there's no wood or anything on the ramp so they shouldn't be as slick but yeah i'm uh, i'm excited about this it's got to save a lot of time now instead of making two trips i can make the one this has kind of pretty much been in the works ever since i bought the peterbilt the beginning of last year i've been trying to find and look for a trailer but trying to find a used one this length and this weight and everything else was a little bit tough so it actually just worked out better here at the end of the year to order this one so like i said i found a couple of used ones but they were wanting like five thousand dollars less than <clears throat> what i paid for this one brand new so now i got new tires new brakes new decks oh, i think that's all kind of the specs or specifics that i can think of uh if i've left something out you guys can just comment below but i say we go get some equipment and load up on here now i've been wanting to do that for two days so <laughs> we'll go get the loader and the excavator fired up and uh see how they're gonna fit on here That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> that is just sweet. I think that's gonna work out pretty well. It looks like, yeah, it looks like I can hook to this D-ring to there and then shoot that one over to here. I guess this one, 
up on the front of the bucket. The good news is I know I can flip the loader around if I need to back it on there because it just, I don't know, I think I'll be all right around town. It makes me a little nervous <clears throat> from sitting up there. I don't know if I could, but it's possible to throw a rock and knock the uh, windshield out. It's going to be a little bit of a learning curve on, I mean, I don't think it's really going to matter whether it's forward or backwards for the weight. <laughs> this is going to be nice. I am excited. And now I know I got plenty of room to back up where I won't hit the blades right here. So I'll be able to probably hook from there to this one. I throw a chain <clears throat> on the boom, but it's actually going to work out pretty well just to sit it like that, it looks like. I mean, I want to scratch the paint on the trailer and the excavator a little bit booms not not out past the end of the trailer yeah i'm i am gonna love this setup so this has been the <laughs> the long-term goal right here so i definitely need to paint the bed on the truck now because the trailer's a lot shinier but this can look nice rolling through town all right well uh we'll get them back unloaded back in the shot i got one more thing to go get for the excavator to show you guys and then uh, we'll wrap this video up well and here's my second and my last christmas present but uh yeah my Felco compaction wheel showed up actually the same day that I picked the trailer up. So that was the first thing I hauled on the trailer. But this is exactly like the one that uh, Let's Dig has. It's the 24 inch uh, compaction wheel. It's actually got a pretty neat little setup here because it's got excavator teeth inside here on both sides just to clean off all the mud and junk off there. <clears throat> you can actually, yeah, there it is. Uh, grease the bearing on that side yeah i guess on both sides you can grease them and then uh i got the plate on the back there for me so that's what chris told me that thing is the ticket i guess you can take that and kind of knock the piles and stuff like that down have it curled back and then you can uh, roll your next lift in <clears throat> uh they had a this is just a weld on attach i guess they make a bolt-on attach plate that way if you want to switch machines or if you, you know you get a different machine or something like that you can move it but i don't uh <clears throat> i don't ever see me having anything different so i guess if i ever do i'll just uh have to cut that one off and add a new one on there but i'm actually excited to try this out i think next week i got a 36 inch culvert to put in so uh across an asphalt road so this should make it pretty handy but yeah felco is i think they're in missoula montana so and these guys have been fantastic to work with they do a great job just kind of checking in let me know where things are at uh I basically told me i could customize this thing any way i wanted uh painting the sheep's foot or the outside of it or whatever but i don't know i just like the black with the with the red the red kind of goes with the Takahuchi and the black just kind of matches the rest of the buckets and stuff. But uh, they make a, oh man, I think they make a 12, a 16, an 18, a 20. They'll pretty much make any size uh, that you want, I believe. But I was going to go with the 18, but once again, after kind of talking to Chris a little bit more, I just ended up going with the 24 inch because... A lot of the ditches that I dig are usually 18 inch wide, but with the rock we have, they come out to about 20 to 24 anyways. But like he was saying, you're doing bigger culverts or backfills, you're gonna want a little bit bigger compaction, you know, just a little wider footprint and stuff like that. So if it doesn't work out or if it's too big, it's his fault then. But yeah, I'm definitely excited to try this thing out. Like I said, Felco has been awesome. Sean and Lee and all the guys there have been just fantastic to work with and kind of keeping me in the loop on where it was at. And I think it was uh, maybe five weeks 
four or five weeks whenever I ordered it till it showed up. This is probably all my purchases for 2021. I got a new trailer and a compaction wheel now, so there may not be anything else exciting for the rest of the year, but uh, I think this thing is definitely going to be one handy attachment. I like it because there's no lines, there's no hoses. With the quick connect, it's going to be real easy just to throw it off, put the bucket on, dig or backfill, and then throw this thing on. So yeah, I'm definitely excited to uh, try this thing out. So I think that culvert job is going to be a great one there. And then I know down there where the parking lot was at, I got a bunch of culverts to do and a couple little pads and stuff like that. I don't know, you can tell it's just a heavy... <laughs> That's probably three quarters of an inch right there. And the rest of the stuff is like half inch. So it's, uh, <laughs> it is a stout attachment, even like where the teeth go on. Everything about that, this thing probably weighs, I don't know, six, 800 pounds, somewhere around there. You guys will be seeing this in some upcoming videos. I don't really have anything. I guess I could just try to compact the parking lot with it, but <clears throat> don't really have anything right now. So, uh, there it is, the 24-inch Felco compaction wheel.